Welcome back to my Thimagining. Some more conversation uh, and digesting of the Ducari Drone Overlord's idea. <clears throat> I was talking to uh, Vince Venturella a number of times over the last week with Holy Havoc, and then uh, he was visiting Madison, and uh, you know he was encouraging me to get going on this project, et cetera, because he was he was enjoying the idea. I really appreciated that encouragement, but I was just like hemming and hawing, and I'm like, well, maybe I want to paint some more of my undead uh, before the the next death release comes out, etc. Um, I've got tons of uh, skeletons to paint, uh, some more for my soul blight. You know, I've got the models ready, and and uh, want to can finish them off and and just kind of close that chapter before jumping on to this next project. And you know, what what he what he it, kind of through the conversation it came out as I was just really not not solid on the scheme and what I was going to do for these guys. So uh, just putting a, a pin in, in looking at the other uh, units in the range and how they're going to mix and match, I'm fairly confident, as I said in the last video, that I can make this work all the way through, that it'll be WYSIWYG, that it'll make sense, that you'll know, you know, Endriggers from Sky Wardens and uh, uh, Frigates from Gun Haulers, etc. Uh, and you'll be able to pick them out as you would in a in a KO army. I think I think all the the pieces are there, the framework, the the structures there. <clears throat> but it was the theme that I don't have and part of the reason I haven't jumped on it. I mean, Holy Havoc just got done. Obviously, I was spending a ton of time painting that stuff. So, it really challenged me and and we brainstormed a few ideas and um even when I was talking to um, uh Tom over the weekend, you know, he was really encouraging. I mean, these are dark elves. Uh, you know, I'm using the Dark Eldar line, but these are Dark Elves in Age of Sigmar. Um, these are uh, Scourge Privateers, if you would, uh, because that's the theme of, you know, the, the sailors, the, the nautical crew. Um, and so you can see those here on the screen. And one of the things that they're known for, one of their symbols, is the squid head, uh, or kind of the, the Cthulhu head, right? Uh, and one of their uh, heroes from back in the day, uh, which I don't think is available any longer, uh, is here on the left, uh, Lokir, um, who has this tentacle face, etc. And so it seemed kind of obvious, yeah, okay, go with go with that. However, I mean, what, what was still stuck in my craw was that, uh, you know, every, the these horror kraken are a part of uh, the KO lore, which is fantastic, but, and it's such a, it is such a great, uh, imagery of like tentacles coming out of clouds and you know out of nowhere you get a, a, a sky squid type of thing um, but I, th I think that's going to be done a lot I think a lot of people are going to be using that um, and so I didn't want to tread on that because it's something that yeah the dark elves kind of attach to with uh, not only um, you know the squid face but also the the charybdis um, uh, and, uh, and, and so there's this kind of I don't know, there's already kind of that stuff there that they could definitely uh, grasp onto and, and it would make sense. But I still feel like in this last book, GW kind of gave the squid to the, the KO um, or to the Dwarden, right? And I want these guys to feel a little bit different. The other thing, um, what's been kind of cool as I've been looking through with the naming, I didn't even think about this, but the Scourge Privateers and the Scourge Chariot, um, you know, is the same name for the, the Scourge, you know, the Scourges in uh, the Dark Eldar line. So, I mean, they're really still tying these two races together, you know, they're, they emulate each other a little bit. Um, but one of the things uh, that I want to make sure happens with the Dark Eldar, or sorry, with the Drukhari drone, uh, is that they feel faster, that they feel um, a little bit different than, you know, the Karadron, the slower moving. I know they're not slow moving, but it's kind of that more... Um, I guess, the, I mean, the Dark Elves are lighter, faster, should feel a little more fragile, etc. So I, I want to keep that feel. Um, so, uh, you know, looking through all of these, one of the things I did, uh, and I was also, I guess, too, one of the conversations that was happening over this last week was kind of pouring over uh, the display board that Tom Lyons created uh, with Vince for uh, Havoc and how amazing this was. It told, told such a great story uh, that it... Uh, um, displayed these models so well um, and so we kind of started talking about like well what are we gonna do for next year you know they've got something planned um, I've got and, and it really kind of jumped me into some ideas I, I used this process of display board to think about well what would I create for the Drukhari drone what 
what would emulate that? So there's a couple of things floating around. So the f oops, <laughs> first thing I did uh, was look at some animals, uh, some of these sea creatures, the sky, the sea, the nautical stuff. Um, and I even thought, you know, even though there's a lot of nautical themes here, you could still go with dragons, right? They're still in the sky or wyverns or these other things. And they're out there. Um, pretty more, more stereotypical fantasy tropes. But it would be fun to play in this nautical realm a little bit more. So I looked at the squids. Um, and again, a little too cliche. Uh, you know, I drew up some stuff to figure like, oh, what would they look like? These multiple eyes, really crazy looking. Um, I went to the sharks. There's this really cool picture in the KO book of this giant sky shark who's been uh, killed and is being uh, cut up for, for meat and blubber and parts, etc. Um, and I did have some ideas for the shark, but not for this army, um, interestingly enough. But I won't, I won't spill those beats here. Um, <laughs> I'd made a, try to make a hybrid uh, crab manta ray, um, but that's, you know, which is, I think it's really cool. It'd be funny for, for maybe like goblins or, or orcs or something like that. Um, the nautilus, so kind of a squid, but with the shell. I thought that could be kind of cool. Um, the, the large um, dark Eldar ship is called the tantalus, which to me sounds like nautilus, etc. So there's some tines there. Um, but the animal that, that really kind of stood out for me after I drew this picture uh, was, a, was a sailfish. Uh, these call it, this is a, there's a whole the billfin um, kind of species of fish uh, with these long sword snouts, uh, these tall sail fins. Um, and then I'm trying to figure out how would I change him for Age of Sigma, right? Give him multiple eyes, more of a, some sturgeon effects, etc. Um, and I really like this. And, and the Dukar, you know, the, the boats uh, for uh, the Dark Eldar. Um, you know, they kind of, it's not super prominent yet. I mean, these fins are kind of small. Um, but, you know, it's there. There's there's this feeling of this this large, you know, point coming out, and there's the sail up here. So that really kind of fit for me, and so I started doodling a little bit more. Um, and so uh, what I came up with uh, was kind of these ideas for um, this you know, swordfish coming up out of the, out of the display board and this long uh, snout being something that you could tie them to as if they're, you know, kind of battling the swordfish. Well, that evolved a little bit uh, into something a little bit uh, more kind of like they're luring or jumping out, that sort of thing. Um, and it culminated here. Um, I, you know, the picture's not exactly framed for this, uh, but... Uh, Man, when I when I drew this, um, it really solidified it for me, and I, I added these colors a little bit later. And it, um, this idea of this giant uh, sailfish, swordfish, um, sky swordfish, sky sail, whatever, um, being like one of the fastest of the maybe realm beasts or um, whatever to use a term from uh, Raw 2017, um, You know that this realm beast was one of the fastest in the skies. Like, there's just nothing faster. Um, and that these sails are what help it move, that rides uh, the etheric winds uh, using these these sails. And everyone's got to look out for them. But nobody can hunt them except for the Trakari Uh And so because they hunt them for these scales, for these sails, the sail material that they use on their boats, um, and that they have this uh, specialized markings and colors, um, and that even... Uh, looking down here, I drew kind of a, a smaller one, uh, and that if you look at their their ships, then is that they're trying to emulate kind of looking like small uh, sail ships uh, or sailfish, um, and then you know maybe down here there's the the foot uh, the Arcanauts down here uh, sitting and waiting with their rifles to to you know throw their sky hooks etc at the little one or or at the big one and and hook them. Uh, and one of my favorites is using the gunstruck gun hauler up here um, as kind of the bait, right? And maybe that, you know, shoots a little harpoon in there and, and nabs them and maybe is able to steer them a little bit where they want it to go, uh, lure them into this trap around this mountain and take them out. Um, but this this really, I mean, and this, what's interesting is I was not going to go, I was going to look at um, uh, sky earth, non-metallic metal or chrome as the, the look and feel and I was, I was ready to do that, but 
and after drawing this uh, and, and coloring this, um, I had another kind of uh, quadratic paint scheme idea for another army. Uh, I wasn't going to do that here, but just I'm kind of excited about the idea of making these guys super colorful. Um, and so uh, I even you know kind of started doing a little bit of mock-up. And I don't love this uh, this picture intensely because there's no way to really get the um, get the tones in there. But just trying to get some markings on here. Uh, and and truth be told, this paint scheme looks a little bit better next to the you know giant thing, um, or or seems like it would. Um, but you know, with a little work, I think this can look uh, pretty phenomenal. And obviously, all this great to own stuff. You know, you start adding more colors and chips and weathering, etc., and it could look really cool. So. Um, you know, and there's a little bit of Harlequin feel in this, um, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, I'll go back to this picture cause it's my favorite. Um, so Jakar drawn overlords, these guys are going to be modeled after their backstory is going to be about hunting these, uh, sky sails. Um, and, uh, and they've got to be fast. They're going to be, their coloring is going to fit that of the sky sails in order to kind of blend in and, and. You know, not not distract the um, sail uh, the sky sail fish from you know the the role of the gun hauler who's gonna you know go up there and, and be the target or something to that effect. Um, and uh, and so um, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this I am looking at considering this as a display board with a, a giant sail uh, sky sail fish jumping out of these clouds breaking the clouds up into this, uh, near this mountaintop where these guys are waiting, etc. I'm thinking about, you know, how would this ship mount to the top of the, the head of the fish and this one to the top of the mountain and this one maybe suspended by this, you know, what would look like a hook or a harpoon uh, stabbing into him. Um, how to make that work, right? So this is a quite a big undertaking on top of, you know, trying to make this uh, work. But I mean, I don't think looking at this, you can doubt for a minute that these guys are in the mortal realms. Um, and that's what I want the most from this project, uh, to be able to, to use these models and for people to be like, yes, absolutely, 100%, uh, these ships, uh, these, these crew, these um, models belong in the, the mortal realms in Age of Sigmar. So I'm hoping uh, that you'll agree with me that this does it. Um, let me know your thoughts uh, down below. Like and subscribe uh, to keep following me for updates on this. I'll be posting on Twitter some things, but um, so what I want to do is, I mean, this is a huge undertaking. I don't know if I can even do it, um, but as I learn things, as I, I figure out things, I'm going to share them with you guys. Um, I'm hoping if, if this does turn into a display um, that I could take this to Adepticon or maybe Holy Havoc next year. And we all saw from uh, Tom's uh, piece that, that display boards are, uh, there's, a, there's a higher ceiling for that. So, um, and I, I think other people want to make cool, uh, amazing display boards uh, as well. So I'll share everything that I come across. Uh, you give me your feedback. Uh, you share ideas that you've done or know of to help me f solve these problems and, and, and figure it out. And uh, we'll all be inspired together and tell these tales um, and uh, look forward to that. Maybe you'll get to see this, uh, this success or failure in person uh, in 2018. So that's a wrap. Uh, thanks again. And uh, we'll be uh, showing more soon.